Are you the one of those who avoid Achu because it has too much oil? This is a solution for you. Achu soup made healthy. Achu soup revolution. This, this is royalty. But healthy, tasty Achu soup. This is a new way to eat your vegetables. Hello everyone. Welcome to Consistence Place channel. Welcome to Morty's Kitchen. My name is Consistence and today I'm welcoming all of you back to my channel. And if you are new to this channel, welcome and don't forget to subscribe. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to be sharing with you a recipe that was taught to me by my beloved husband. Because I am from a different tribe, my husband is from a different tribe, so he had the interest to teach me how to make this food. And ever since I started making this food, my in-laws are like, mmm. And they are the ones motivating me to keep making this food. And my husband, my kids, everybody love this food so much. So you want to watch right up to the end of this video because I've added, I've modified my own achu and it is super. So you want to stick around to the end of this video and find out what I did to my achu soup that everybody is sticking on to my achu soup. So today guys, let's move on to the ingredients. I've already boiled my smoked meat and my cow skin. And... One thing, I come from a different tribe from Com. We put a uh, garden egg in our achu soup. My husband likes them sliced in the achu soup, but I always like them blended. I have mushrooms here. Since I am in the United States, so my kids and my, my husband love broccoli in their achu soup. This is dry fish. I've already cleaned the dry fish, take out the, taken out the bones. And here I have three scoops of granite paste. You, you are allowed to use peanut butter. Here is a cup of palm oil. This is very healthy oil from Cameroon. Then I have here five, te five teaspoons of achu soup spices and a teaspoon right there of country onions. So I have here colocasia. If you have not watched my video where I unboxed my processor, so please go back and watch it. I'm going to use that food processor to, to blend this as a colocasia. And if you want me to show you a trick how to make a powder and mashed potato please let me know in the comments i'll have the video uploaded for you also have three uh, habanero pepper we call it hot pepper this is maggi chicken seasoning this is salt like you can see today i'm wearing my favorite african wear stick to the end of this video so i'll show you poses of my favorite african wear was made by my auntie and i think it's really cute don't you think guys just kidding don't worry about it so let's get cooking <laughs> Just wash this and put them in the pot. Just do this. You put four, four of these cups and then you just start the fire. And then you cover it to boil. Pour that in there and then put the fish. Remove the mushrooms and the things. You wash the wash this and slice it just to make sure that it's not bad inside. You're also going to be cutting the broccoli, make sure the broccoli is very well washed. Just take out one piece, do that, cut it. Just like that now. Just to keep washing it. So uh, I just boil my meat so that I can do some seasoning there. You notice that I do the, the vegetables apart. I'm going to boil the mushrooms and the garden egg apart and then add the broccoli at the end because I don't like cooked broccoli all the way. I just like it like steamed. This, I'll put one spoon here, one spoon there. And these are the, the spices already. I'll just go ahead. I like to season my meat. You don't want to be eating bland meat in actual soup. Then I'll season the vegetables too with some foam. Just put that there. And then do some salt like a teaspoon of salt each and I'm just want to add crushed pepper to my meat so that the meat has some taste this is like 20 minutes after our kukoyam is ready ah, that burns messy it's ready so i'll just turn that off let it cool and then we'll move we'll cool it cool down a little bit then we'll move on to the the blending Vegetable is ready. I just turned off the fire. I will strain this out and then put in the broccoli. Please don't mind my old pots. My kitchen is a very busy kitchen and I've had these pots for years. Many, many years. So don't mind my old pots. Excuse them. But they're the pots that cook the best food. I can, I can tell you that. So right now what I do, I just turn off the fire and then pour in the broccoli that I already washed. 
Yeah, just pass it through the boiled water. That's it. It's going to soak in that achu soup spice. And then you cover it. It will steam in there. Oh my god, my kids just love this. So I just make sure I have added the, even the, some of the stock from the meat so that it soaks it all the way. Notice there's no fire underneath. Just cover that. And then I'll leave it for a while. So we'll move to the preparation of the actual soup spices. The broccoli has soaked in there like for five minutes. What I'll do, I'll just take it out. Just take it out. Just strain it out. See how that green is? It's already steamed. Usually if my kids were here, they'll just start picking it up and eating because that seasoning has penetrated it. It's just steamed, not boiled not raw not cooked somewhere in the middle really you need to try this people you need to try this it's very healthy people don't know about it i tried it one time and everybody that has tasted it has approved of it my husband loves it my kids love it if i do broccoli if i do a chew soup with no broccoli my kids are not gonna be happy usually i do a lot of broccoli more than to start uh, also strain out the meat i just put in the pot where i'll be ready to do my stuff yeah. So that I'm doing this so that I can obtain the stock that we use to make our achu soup. That's it. It's well seasoned. And then my broccoli too is seasoned. I'm just going to add that to it. Add the broccoli to the meat. It's all seasoned. Notice. It's a very healthy way to enjoy your achu soup. And then for this uh, garden egg, I'll just leave some out to blend because I blend my pepper with some garden egg. I blend the pepper to thicken it up. Really I blend. My husband like, loves to chew some garden egg, so I'll just leave a couple of them there for him. Yeah, I don't want to blend the mushrooms, so that's why the mushrooms are left behind. So now, I'll just blend those ones. That one, just to thicken up the soup and flavor it a little bit. And then this one, I'm just going to mix up with the meat. And I blend, I'm going to blend my pepper because all of us eat pepper here, so I'll just blend that pepper. So. Sorry, I knew I forgot something. I forgot to present this calcium carbonate. We call it kangwa or limestone. I just really use a teaspoon of the ground one. This is the solid one. I just wanted to show you the solid one. And then I just dissolve it in the hot water and then mix it. I'll just put the hot water here to dissolve it. Really good. Just set it somewhere to dissolve. And then what I usually do, I just add my spices, my actual soup spices. Just set that in here. Mix that up. That's my actual soup spices and the country onion going on. And then my my I told you guys a trick that I do with my thing. Remember, actual soup is usually taken by a lot of oil. But for the fact that we are not using a lot of oil, my husband taught me this trick, and that's how they also do it in my place to put uh granite paste so putting this granite paste inside thing will just kind of yeah just put the granite paste to dissolve in the heat and then put your oil i warmed it i microwave the oil it's warm notice so one cup of oil i just put the oil in there mix it up the limestone is going to come into play here so notice how you put the limestone for it to mix that oil up and you have to stir until it is uniform but because i don't have time to keep stirring back and forth back and forth i use the blender the blender makes it so easy this is where you taste if everything is okay you can go ahead and blend your achu soup my husband taught me this recipe and ever since my husband is like proud of me i'm not bragging but i just want to let you know that this recipe is something you want to try out you want to try out I will not show any recipe here that doesn't taste good and it's something you want to try out and make a video of it and show me and try it and let me know a lot of my recipes people cook it and send me videos and confirm so i i have i have a legacy to 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 leave to protect you know i have a brand to protect so i will not be showing anything here that is just anything so you want to try this out it's healthy let me just taste yeah oh la la Woo -hoo. it's not yet out yet but hmm you know do you notice the the garden egg that i want to blend 
it gives some good flavor to the actual soup guys mm. remember we said this is a soup revolution so it's a soup like never before so what we do i always just go ahead and pour some quantity here okay don't mind my machine is old but this machine is doing everything for me so right here yeah guys see that it's well blended just gonna pour that in there see it guys Achoo. soup is cooking in Morty's kitchen so we blend it to make it smooth to mix the calcium carbonate and the oil mixture it gives a very smooth texture it gives a very smooth texture to the, the the soup and this blend all those spices blend in please you need to try this too it's a delicacy of cameroon Ooh. do you see how that actual soup is loaded with vegetables actual soup loaded with vegetables variety in color texture and flavor oh that's my motto you know Gav yellow, brown, green. Oh god, look at that. Oh my. I'm looking where those mushrooms go to. Where did those mushrooms go? Can't even see them. Okay. Hey, see, I'm so excited about this machine. Because I bought this machine. I just unboxed it. I made a video for the unbox. And I want to try it now to do the I washed it already. And I'm about to use it. Here is water to peel the cocoa yams. They do it, do it just doing like they do in the village, guys. So just do that. Put that here. Yeah, you just do this. So usually you just hold this like that and then it peels off itself. Let's see how that goes. Usually they, they pound this in a mortar. I don't have a mortar here, but I just do that. I already moved the first set. Now I'm doing the second one. The second one is done. See that? I'm just gonna take that out. See how smooth that is. I mean, this machine is good, but it's quite a struggle to grind it. Some exercise to grind it. So if you want to do exercise, this one you wanna do. Like I said, if you want me to show you how to do it with the powder. Coco yam mixed with mashed potato. You let me know in the video. It's a trick that I do, and people think that I pounded the coco yams. This is the last one. See the pounded? I just soak that in water and try to mix that up. Yeah, I don't pound coco today. Don't pound to today with coco yam. I got the fufu mixed up. So, I got the coco yam mixed up. and my husband helped to pull this up, so it's so nice. Ready for the achu? I don't have to take the whole shoe. Okay. What do you think about this? Very healthy way to eat achu soup less oil more veggies very very healthy you can actually just take this soup and drink i mean and eat just the soup even without the the, the, the achu see all those broccoli mushroom meat see that it's more, more like food people you want to try this recipe yeah after a hard work like this one with this legacy food oh my god this is hard to open we just like it, we deserve some sparkling, don't we? We deserve. I mean, if you don't have sparkling, you can grab any juice of your choice or even just water. Me, yeah, I love to go with sparkling, and I'm so so ready to taste that legacy. This is my husband's legacy. Thank you for this food, Lord. Bless the food, sanctify, provide to those who have nothing to eat, and let's eat and find grace before thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I already washed my hands. Let me rest one more time. Okay. <clears throat> oh my God, this is. Mm. 
You need to try this food. Very yummy. Very taste tasteful with a lot of spices. All those African spices are in there. Very radiant. The broccoli is a way to go. Mm. Mm, grab some mushroom. Mm. Let me grab some garden herb. Mm. Tell us if you have ever known about this innovation of adding vegetables to achu soup and making it with less oil. Tell us how you do your own achu soup. Are you way to go with reduced oil and increased vegetable dose and protein is way to go. You definitely need to try this, this recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and share it to other people. See you in my next video.